So I was reading this article on NetTuts. Um, it was about uh, sexy code snippet management with gists, and it was talking about a plugin for Sublime Text 2 that would enable you to have snippets that are pulled from GitHub gists. If you don't know what GitHub gists are, um, just read the article. Watch well, not read the article. Watch the video that uh, Jeffrey's made, and it goes through a plugin that basically stops you from using tools like snippets. The snippets is the tool that, that I use for my code snippets. And when I say I use it for my code snippets, I mean I downloaded it and, and never used it, um, just because it was just uh, just a pain to to use, really. There was nothing that was easy. You know, I wanted something like a text expander or, or just somewhere to store snippets of code. Sometimes I use the Sublime Text 2 one. It, it's, it's good for some things. Um, but there's no version control with snippets, which is uh, what I really like about GitHub Gist is that you have, you know, your um, your uh, your gist here, and you have complete version control. You'll have a version history if you update it or change it a little bit. You can revert back to a version, or you, if you copy or if you fork someone else's gist, you can see all the versions that they went through as well. So that's really advantage. Before you'd have to come in, you'd have to copy out all this and then go back to your painting. It's just a little bit time consuming sometimes. Um, it sounds lazy, but um, that's just the way it is. So on the or in the video, Jeffrey speaks about this this plugin, which is great. Uh, it was just missing one piece of functionality, and that was the ability just to copy the gist straight to the clipboard. But this one here, um, which is a different plugin from uh, Brad Greenlee, uh, it's on GitHub, is is has has that one piece of functionality. So if you go through the installation, you can install through the command line, or you can install through the package control. And what you can do is just bring up the command palette, the shortcut, or if you want to go and do it the long way, you can do it the long way. And you can copy just clipboard and you can um, choose the one that you want to copy to clipboard and then just paste. Straight away, you know, you have the, the gist pasted in. You have all the options that the other um, plugin had, which was update the gist or open the gist in the browser or open the gist in the editor, blah, 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 blah. pretty much everything plus that one piece of functionality that I felt was the one thing that. Um, was missing. So, if you're not using GitHub Gist, I suggest that you do because they're awesome ways of just storing pieces of code. You can use the, you know, you can store bundles in in the, um, we can store snippets in Sublime Text too. But there's no version control, which is why I like Gists, um, just because of the version control. But check out this um, this plugin here uh, from Brad Greenlee. And check out the art, uh, the video from Jeffrey Way on NetTots. It's it's well worth it.